So we're going to start a new game. We're still going to be playing with the Community Balance mod. Uh, this has been updated, though. This is a new version than the one I was playing in. This one's supposed to have a bunch of uh, AI fixes and changes and things like that and some extra balance changes. So it'll be interesting to see. And we're going to be playing as Alexander of the Greek Empire today. Um, which is interesting. So there's a few things going on with the Greeks, but... In this community balance mod, they still have the sort of mechanics that are very uh, friendly towards creating this Hellenic League, which is to say, working with city-states. In particular, our city-state influence degrades at half the rate, and recovers at twice the normal rate if we do uh, piss someone off. Hey, Vitus Belki, thanks for the sub. Um, not only that, but we get bonus combat strength of our units, and also allied units, increases by 4% for every allied city-state we have, up to 20% total. So ideally, we'd like to get ourselves up to at least 5 city-state allies, and then our troops will be that much stronger, which does enable aggressive conquest, uh, good defense, uh, somewhere in the middle, and again, any victory condition you're going for, you do want a decent uh, military, if nothing else, to stop people from declaring war on you, but often you have to stop someone else who might be getting too far ahead of things. Um, depending on where the city starts are and how successful we are at creating our alliances and building our embassies, we may end up uh, trying diplomatic. We'll see how it goes. Um, we do have the Hoplite unit, Hoplite unit, which is great. It's an upgraded version of the uh, Spearman. As far as I know, it's like the same, other than... Um, but hey! Having a higher combat strength and also generating great generals more, which is nice. Who dat? That is a donation that has just come in from Gurento. Thank you so much. First day in forever I'm able to make another one of your streams. Take my money and keep being one of my favorite entertainers. Thank you very much, Gurento. Thank you so much for that support. It makes a huge, huge, huge difference uh, with what I try to do with the channel. And... Um, I just really appreciate it, and as always, thanks for watching. I still have to do a video talking about all the Extra Life Charity Marathon stuff, and how that goes, and write, read off all the people's names who've donated. I will point out that technically you can still donate to it, so if you didn't get in there, it's still time. Um, but yeah, for now, let's go and, and play. I'm still playing on the Shuffle map. Uh, this is the same map type we played as last time, but Shuffle, the whole thing is, it will give you something wildly different every time you play, ideally. Um, and so what I did is I brought up to this screen, and checked. Okay, I'm not like on a coast. So probably we didn't get a bunch of tiny islands again. Cross our fingers. I'm hoping for a very different map. If this ends up being more Pangea-like or a couple of big supercontinents, I would be fine with that. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, bumped it up to Immortal Difficulty, Epic Speed, Standard Size. Eight civilizations, don't know who my neighbors are. Tech brokering is turned off. So while we can still trade techs that we have researched, we can't just keep brokering all over the place. Uh, let's, let's get this started. All right, so right away, a couple of things at the start. First of all, we've got a couple of sources of lapis lazuli, which is nice. There is that me mechanic in this game. Do we have the sound turned on? No, it's on. It's just really low. Is it just me? That's pretty quiet, isn't it? Let's see if we can't um, bring that up a wee bit. I'm going to keep the music off. I haven't tweaked in a while, but I've tweaked some other sound settings on my computer. Okay, um, what was I saying? Yes, if you... If you control, if you have more than 50%, or if you have 50% or more of a particular resource within your borders, then you get the Monopoly bonus. In this case, it's 25% more Golden Age length, which eh, may not be the biggest. I really like the ones that give you plus three culture um, for each one of the tiles once you have a Monopoly. That is really amazing. But there's not to be. Uh, incense is good. See, if you got a Monopoly bonus, you get plus three global happiness. So if we can find like 50% of the world's incense, awesome. Um, starting location, interesting. We do have a lot of hills, which will be nice once we get the forges down. I think I'm going to move from this spot here. Um, we've got, if I moved, say, down to the southwest right over here, I would then be adjacent to the desert, which enables us to potentially build the Petra. Now, beelining the Petra is, on a high difficulty, is a surefire recipe, uh, to just end up with sadness and disappointment, because the AI gets such massive bonuses at the start of the game, uh, that it's very difficult to beat them to something like that. Um, also, this is only plus one gold on desert tiles. It actually no longer gives us plus one gold and food? Gains a, a trade slot, you get a caravan for free, and later on you get plus six culture. But in the base game... Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Petra gives you food, right? So this is a lot worse than before. I don't think we're going to prioritize building the Petra. Wait, 277 hammers? That seems very low. I mean, I know it's an early game wonder. No, I guess they're all pretty low. Okay. So we could move down here. The other advantage to moving down to the southwest 
uh, moving here, we don't lose a turn, which is nice, as opposed to crossing the river, but also it puts right at the start of the game, it will put this incense tile within our workable radius, which is a three food tile, which is really nice, because when you can work three food right away, you're in a much better uh, shot. Um, later on, we'll get the uh, the oasis, which is nice, more food. I like it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my worker, or my warrior. I'm going to move it one to the east, just to make sure we're not losing anything on these hills over here. That we can see. One thing to note is that in this game, in this um, community mod, you can't see a lot of resources. You can't see cows or sheep or... Um, or stone. You can't see any of those things on the map. You can't see deer or bison. You can't see horses, but that's normal. Um, what else? You can't see bananas. You can't, well, iron is normal again. You can't even see fish, for crying out loud. So we might be moving away from a resource we don't know about. But I think I'm going to move this way. I really like the idea of working the three food tile right away. Being adjacent to the desert gives us options. I don't think there's anything that requires you to be adjacent to a hill. I think you have to be have hills in range for certain things. But like the windmill, right? Am I thinking that right? The windmill? Windmill's just, you don't have to be on a hill yourself. Yes? No? I don't see the text at all. I might be thinking of something else. F it! Let's go. Ooh, we're actually a little bit closer to wheat, which is nice. I mean, it still would have been within our radius, but now it's slightly closer, so it'll be easier to expand there. Okay, I don't regret this decision at all. I'm gonna build there. Um, and... One, two, three. So we're not actually in range of the Lapis Lazuli, although we wouldn't have been in range over there anyway, so that doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to start off definitely with the Scoot. We're going to Scoot the Boot and um, hopefully find some things a little bit faster. We are working the three food tile. Bing! Plus the extra gold, which won't hurt. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, Culture is automatically going to expand towards the wheat, which is exactly what you want. I mean, it's four food right away, and of course we'll be able to improve it quite quickly as well. All right, I like it. Research-wise, what are we going to do? Well, um... Revealing some stuff is pretty good. We don't have to necessarily rush towards um, uh, words, words, words. Like luxury, luxury resource unlock in the same way, because in this community mod, a luxury resource only gives you plus one happiness, not plus four. Um, so it's less critical. Um, this, and I mean, getting early writing is nice, although it's quite far away. And look, we have to research a lot of text. You can't really beeline the same way in this mod. Um, we need pottery to be able to build settlers, so we want that early. But again, we don't necessarily have to rush it because we might not be able to, we might not want to build it right away. Although this also unlocks with granary, and we do have wheat. We'll definitely want it in our capital. In fact, I'm going to be very tempted to go Sun God again. I'm going to go Animal Husbandry into Pottery, and then we're going to decide what to do after that. Good. Petra and regular sieve is 250 hammers. Uh, yeah, but at what speed? Um, and it does give one food, plus one production. That's right, it's food and production, not food and gold. So yeah, that's why the Petra is so good. It turns desert tiles, which are crap, they give you, that are worthless, um, into tiles that are pretty decent. Although we could take desert folklore, because yeah, desert tiles give you nothing. With a Petra, they turn into one food, one hammer, which is exactly the same as a plains, uh, which I don't have nearby to demo. No, here, plain, one food, one hammer. So it turns desert tiles into a plains, and it's particularly good for desert hills. But yeah, as is, I'm not sold. I'm not sold. Um, let's go here. And there. Ooh, uh, hello, Goody Hut. Mm -hmm. You would assume it's no RPC. Yes, yeah, so 250 at normal speed. So slightly more on epic. So it's it's not very expensive here. And it's not more expensive. Free tech! <laughs> Oh, we're clearly going to lose, guys. We're clearly going to lose. You can't get a free tech on uh, turn two and then, like, succeed. You're just going to go and F up the entirety of the game. Um, here, let's uh, let's quick save just in case we get a crash. Hello, the wheel. It doesn't give us anything short term. We can start on an early Stonehenge, I suppose. Since we didn't have to research it. I don't know, that's such a big investment. Building Stonehenge instead of, you know, putting down settlers and stuff like that. No. I don't, th I don't think we do Stonehenge, guys. I think it's just suicide, especially on a higher difficulty. No, it's not worth it. Not for th the three faith. I mean, yeah, it helps you get up your religion faster. Oh. And with Monument to the Gods, which is... What? Is that a pantheon, like a belief or something like that? Where you can, um... Where you get extra faith from wonders? I think that might be the case. 
All right, let's go down. Another gunny hut! Old Faithful. Okay, more desert tiles, which is shit. But Old Faithful. Now, not literally one of my favorite wonders. I like I like the natural wonders that also give you food, so that makes it sort of like neutral to work, right? Which is one of the reasons that um, Lake Victoria is actually one of the best things with like six food. It's amazing, but the science is good. Chat is divided as to uh, whether we go for the wonder. Some people are like, don't do it, don't do it. And others are like, ah, screw it, you know, what could possibly go wrong? A lot of uh, lapis lazuli over here, which is interesting. Having a monopoly on it in sort of a, like, ignoring game mechanics is really good because it does mean that you're guaranteed to be able to sell it to just about everyone, which is nice. Okay, well, we gotta pop the goody hut. Bonus to production, which is gonna finish our scout right away. Nice. What do we want after that? I'm tempted to almost go a second scout. Clearly, we got a big chunk of land here. We haven't met anyone yet. Um, but it's not a little island thing. I don't know exactly what this is. This is too big to be alone, though. Could be like last time we were start with one person. I think I'll go ahead and queue up the monument, um, which is always very, very solid. I mean, the shrine's not bad either. Um, actually, there's something to be said about starting with an early shrine so that we could very quickly get um, the thing that buffs um, the sun god buffs like wheat and granaries and all that stuff, right? That was really good last time. I mean, an early monument means an earlier social policy, which is also quite good. But I'll go for the shrine. Not normally what I do. Okay, we're going to send the scout, I guess, west. We'll do something... We'll do something like um, west and then south the scout, and then here we'll keep going... Oh, there's a border there! Ah! Um, then we'll go like east and then north with this one. Who's who's bright yellow? I don't remember Okay, um, you know what actually I'm just gonna wrap around the uh, old faithful over here to see what the area is uh, go there. Hmm Yeah, sure cross the river Okay, we actually ended up moving towards the second source of wheat in the capital Amazing that was a huge win on that move really really good for us. Who are you? Adolphus! Oh, hey Gus, how's it going? Alright, so we got Sweden nearby. Um, I don't remember what their personality is. We are so gonna lose the game. Okay. Fountain of Youth. Is this always what it gives? It's Lake Victoria gets six food, doesn't it? Fountain of Youth, six food and another happiness if within board. Oh, do we not get plus one happiness from finding wonders anymore? I guess that makes sense. So they changed it. In this mod, you don't get plus one happiness for discovering a wonder. Instead, you gotta have the wonder within your borders. Okay, natural wonder, like Fountain of Youth, obviously massive, 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 massive priority. I mean, sorry, Old Faithful, you're probably gonna fall to the Swedes. Um, which honestly probably isn't very good for me. Because the AI can already grow super fast. Now you're going to have an AI that grows super fast and has bonus science. And another goddamn goody hut. No, don't grow that way. Grow this way. Why would you even consider that? It's on a hill and whatever. Like, go here. God, we're going to have to find some gold and maybe buy these tiles. I'll be very disappointed if Athens pops that. Very disappointed. All right, I didn't check your two population. That is not what I want you to be doing. Um, stay here, and then work that. All right, so yeah, let's explore around um, Old Faithful, because we might want to colonize over there. Uh, let's get this goody hut right away. Uh, map's not great, but it's okay. Oh, we got Ify down in the south with some olives. Oh, God, I want olives all of a sudden. Um, we should go and meet them for the, uh, the boost of gold and faith, actually. It doesn't look like there's any competition for, uh, Fountain of Youth. Miraculously, there's not a city-state right next to it, because usually what happens is the city-state will just end up grabbing the, the tile, because of whatever. Yeah, I want to go and meet Ify, and then we'll go back up north. Oh, we met it from there. I guess because we're on a hill? Excellent, 18 faith. Okay, no money, but 18 faith. Okay, we're now 14 turns away from our pan or yeah, Pantheon, so that's not too bad. Got some more olives down here. Brussels! Brussels! Okay, we're gonna win the game again. Because now Brussels is here. Panzeus throws olives at Quill. 
Um, pop down there. Okay. So I don't have to go down here. Probably they'll give me a mission to clear out this barbarian encampment at some point, which is nice. Uh, so go back up north then. And yeah, my warrior I'll be sending back over in this direction. Actually, I might move him towards this barbarian encampment, because by the time you get there, we might have a mission to take care of that, which would be splendid. Got to try to avoid that guy. He might take a shot at my scout. Frick! Okay. So we got the blue background and the blue background. Have to make sure... Oh, no. Oh, no's! There's no way for me to, to block him. Because even if I do this, he's not going to get zone of control issues. Who? Alright, adopt a policy. Um, so last time we ended up going progress. Because it was nice and different, right? Because classically, in Civ 5, you tend to go tradition because it's very, very strong. Of course, it's been changed in this mod. So the tradition works quite differently. But we went progress to shake it up. Actually, we even went authority to shake things up. What are they even called this? No, I think they've been renamed. I think things have changed. Here's that combat bonus. 25% versus barbarians, which is always nice. And then the f extra culture, which is always nice. Even just unlocking the starter, knowing that we're going to be fighting barbarians quite early on, might be handy. Uh, adopting this gives us two culture and food in our capital, though, which is amazing. It's really, really, really good. Half normal food from specialists. You get golden age points in culture whenever you expend a great person, which is fine. Gives us the throne room in our capital, which just has slots and more culture. Um, plus two culture and food instantly from adopting this is kind of too hard to ignore. At the very least, we'll start with this, and then maybe we'll get the bonus to fighting barbarians. But we're going to go and grab the, the food and culture. I mean, plus two culture means our next social policy comes out much faster. Only ten turns. Keep in mind, we are playing on epic speed here, so that is a really fast time between policies to get things kickstarted. I'm hoping these guys now decide to either rest or go fight the barbarians, but twas not to be. Oh, well, you can't win them all. So... I was about to say something about France being kind of um, militaristic and maybe being a bit scary on this map. Um, but we also have Rome. No, I don't remember Sweden's personality. I mean, they're not as aggressive as uh, the Danes, right? But I think there's still some aggression there. I'm not sure. Who do you meet? Vatican City. All right. More faith. Hey, we're going to get... We can't pick a belief now, right? We're going to have to wait until next turn. It's not like a social policy where we can kick it in. And create Pantheon now, except we can't. we got to wait for the pop-up. Okay. <sighs> Things are going to get violent, you guys. Alright, found a Pantheon. So we got a lot of different stuff. Last time, we ended up going Sun God which is plus two culture from granaries, which is nice. And plus three faith from farms and improved resources. Well, we're going to get farms on both these wheats, which is really, 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 really good. Now, what do you build on these? You build mines, presumably on lapis lazuli. Yes, mine. Is there anything that gives us a bonus to mine? Because we will have two Lapis Lazuli, plus some extra hills and stuff like that. Alright, Monument to the Gods is the thing we could have grabbed with them um, if we went Stonehenge. Which probably could have gotten, but I don't like that risk. Faith and culture for every unique luxury resource. I mean, we'll have two here. That's not bad. I mean, it's not for each tile. It's just for each that you have. I think we go Sun God again, you guys. Science from Barracks is nice. God King is actually much better in this version. Food and Faith from Shrines. Ah, Faith from Mines on Improved Resources. And plus two production from Monuments. Okay, let me tell you, having your Monuments give you two production is nice. And we would get four extra Faith over here. That's not as good as the Sun God for us, though. Sun God's going to give us six faith and the two culture. 
We've got Sun God. Oh, Desert Folklore. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Maybe. Who was that? That was garbage. Thank you very much. So Desert Folklore, you get faith, food, and gold from desert tiles with improved resources. Not just desert tiles. It needs to have a resource that's improved. So that would mean I would get plus one. I would get the faith, food, and gold on this lapis lazuli, this incense. Oh, it's not luxury sources. And this wheat. So overall, this pick would end up giving me eight faith, four food, four gold. A tiny bit more if I do colonize over here. A tiny bit more over here and here. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I do have to improve the tiles, but I'd have to do that for Sun God as well. So this would be six in my capital. Six faith, two culture. This would not give me the culture, but it would give me eight faith and four extra food. I Yeah, I'm going to go with Desert Folklore. Yeah, those wheat monster tiles, yeah. All right, let's do it. Desert Folklore. If nothing else, it's different from what we did last time. I think Sun God is still an excellent pick for our start here. Um, but that's what we went with last time. So yeah, let's shake things up a bit. Okay, well, obviously we are on a... I'm going to call it at this point a continent. I'm, I'm not going to say it's a Pangea yet. Um, we've got th at least three neighbors. No one down here, which is good. Which actually means, even though the Fount of Youth is unbelievably good... We can afford to wait a little bit longer before we get there. I actually should have started pottery first. By the time the tech would have finished, we'd actually be at the right time for us to go and build a uh, settler to grab Old Faithful, which is what I'm thinking about. I'll finish Animal Husbandry at this point, though, because I'm there, but I didn't realize we'd grow this quickly. Um, I'm a big fan of survivalism. Better defense, better uh, healing. Um, keeps your scout alive a lot longer. Nice. One, two, three. More wheat? Oh my god, more wheat on a desert tile, you guys. Holy crap, desert folklore is going to do good. I mean, three turns for border growth. All right. Um, and yeah, we didn't, um, we didn't build an early monument, so we're going to grow our borders a little bit slower. But I'm going to be happy about the shrine because it's going to let us lock in that pantheon slash religion. Cultural artifacts. Oh, I can get a new policy right away. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and unlock um, authority. Respect my authority. Um, well, that's interesting. If I do pick justice, so you get the bonus to city range bombardment, but we also get a free building in our capital, which has specialist slots and eh, city defense and eh, city hit points. And eh, I mean, it's not bad, but flat plus two production in our capital. So this is basically immediately it's plus two production, which is nice. This one here, yes, we grow great persons faster, but it also gives us plus two gold. Eh, but yeah, we're going to take this, the bonus versus barbarians, um, and culture when killing it. I think it's going to pay off. I mean, getting it early means more culture. It does show us where the barbarian encampments are, and I'm still waiting for that mission from Ify. Um, although what I can do is go over there and start just smacking things without destroying the camp, and maybe farm a little bit of culture, especially if the Swedes stay away here. Animal husbandry! Oh, I was really hoping we'd get animal critters on the um, the desert tiles over here. There are a ton over here, and again, the desert folklore should give us bonuses to all these tiles here and here. Oh, this is a great spot. I really want to go and colonize to the uh, to the west there. All right, let me go and smack these barbarians around. Um, what the hell? Go here. Meet Mombasa. Hello, Mombasa. I expected to find Paris somewhere over here. I wonder where the hell they are. And Rome. Oh! We came to the wrong neighborhood. Alright, we got the wheat. Awesome. Fantastic. Alright, let's try not to actually die over here. Let's back up. Uh, and let's run away and break some line of sight. And then probably heal over here. P 
pottery in 10 turns. We're going to start working on our settler basically right away. I'm just going to rest here. Although these guys might do the thing where they attack my city. So no, I should actually smack this guy around. I mean, they can't reach right away. But yeah, that's what's going to happen. And I can't bombard. City's the... Um... Hey, Gorash, thank you very much for the sub. The resub, 23 months. Wow. Um... Cities start with a bombardment range one. I don't know when they grow. I don't know if it's era based or based on their their size or their strength or whatever it is, but yeah. Um, I want this version here, flat up combat strength bonus, and then I'm going to move here, which means this guy won't be able to hit the city right away because of zone of control or going up on the hill. Next turn, I can bombard him and melee him, but he probably will still go and pillage the city a bit. They actually attacked it right away. They looted 12 gold. How did you attack it? You weren't able to double move. That's weird. Almost maybe a bit of a glitch in the uh, the game there. But hey, we got a bit of extra culture. Devrai, thank you very much for the resub. Need two wall you need walls to have two range. Oh, and the castle gives you three, maybe? Could be. Could be. And I like that mechanic. Honestly, I like the idea of scaling up the uh, city range. I think it's fine. You rest up where you are. You are healed up. Good. Let's go ahead and keep scooting a boot. Okay, we are going to start on the monument. We're not actually getting any benefit whatsoever from our Pantheon until this tile gets improved. Um, but yeah, you know what? Okay. God, there's so much. Because here's the thing. Monument, good. Extra culture, good. More tiles, good. All those things, excellent. Um, getting a worker out so that we can start improving these tiles for A, extra food, B, extra, like, faith and all that shit. Really, really good. C, getting an early military unit so we can go and smash this guy so he doesn't harass me might also be really good. Um, and if we get that quest. Plus, right now, there's going to be barbarians all over. We can't start with a worker this early. We're, he's never going to be able to do anything, and if he does anything, it's just going to get pillaged soon. So no, we'll start on the monument, um, and then as soon as pottery finishes, I will start on the explorer, unless I forget for a few turns, um, and then uh, then we'll see exactly what we're going to do. Maybe recall the scout. Who dead? Yellow borders. That's not Rome or France's border color. Oh, okay, well, it's got the bluish on the inside. So it must be France. I guess I can mouse over and find out, right? Yeah, France. Isn't isn't that weird with the border? Am I wrong about that? It's not usually yellow, is it? I don't know. We've got Assyria as well! Huh. Well, there's a lot of people here. It might be a Pangea, or it might just be a very big continent. Mm-hmm. The wheat's being worked. What are people freaking out about? You can assume that it's going to go over there. Um, although, what I could do is change this guy, which would probably be a good idea for the, like, remove some of the production. And the wheat's going to be at auto-worked. If it wasn't when we popped in, it was just, um, sometimes it doesn't change until you go in and out of the city or the next turn goes, but they, they would have worked it. Like, right away. We wouldn't have lost a turn of wheat. Alright, you're fully repaired. So then we've got the Barbarian encampment. So where do we want to colonize for Old Faithful? Here might be good. Doesn't sit on any resources. It's across a river in case we get attacked. It does mean we do need three border pops to actually get Old Faithful. Meanwhile, Sweden might go and steal it. But it's such a good tile right here. You know what? We can always maybe grab it with a great... We've got England, too! What the... Alright. 